So today uh, we start with so-called Frenna formulas. Okay, now uh, let beta be a unit speed curve. Unit speed means what? Unit speed means, in other words, right, the uh, velocity vector of the curve has length one, right, for all t. Right. So you are moving on the curve with uh, speed equals one, okay? All right, uh, let t, which is beta prime t be the be the unit speed, uh, be the unit tangent vector. So what we mean is this, at any point here, at any point, uh, Okay, so since it is unit speed, we use the parameter S instead of T, I'm sorry. So what we have is this, so this is uh, beta S and let's say this is the tangent vector uh, T S, but unit tangent vector, what we mean is this. Uh, the tangent vector is actually uh, beta prime s, right? Unit tangent vector is the vector which is in the same direction but has uh, length one. So unit tangent vector t is this. So what is t s? Well, t s and B prime has the same direction. So I can just take B prime and divide it uh, by its length, right? So TS is this, okay? You divide uh, <clears throat> beta prime S by its length, but in our case, of course, uh, this is just one, therefore it is just B prime S, okay? But in general, in general, your curve may not be unit speed and how you find the unit tangent vector is this, you just divide your velocity vector by its length. But in our case, since, since it is already unit speed curve, beta prime S is just one, therefore, T S is nothing but B prime S. Okay. Uh, now we make the following observation. Uh, since T S length of T S is just one. Of course, if this is one, then of course, uh, its square is one, then this expression uh, is one. But this means what? Ts dot product with Ts is equal to one, right? Because norm of the uh, length, uh, sorry, uh, square of the norm of the vector or length of the vector is just uh, 
the vector in the product with itself. Since I have this, I can take derivative of both sides. As I said, you know, this is differential geometry course. So we just take derivatives, okay? I take the derivative with respect to S. So as I move on the curve, I take its derivative with respect to the parameter, which is S. This is constant, therefore the derivative is zero. And here you have the product of this vector with itself. We apply Leibniz rule. These are vector valued functions. Its derivative is just this. T prime times T plus T times T prime, right? Derivative of the first one and then the second plus the first one times the derivative of the second. But inner product is symmetric. So this is just two times T prime times T S equals zero. And this is true for all S. Well, so T prime and T, uh, the inner product is zero. This is possible only if what? Uh, when do we have the inner product of two vectors is zero? This means that these two vectors are perpendicular to each other, right? So this means T prime S times T S, sorry. And uh, these two are always perpendicular to each other for all S in I. Yeah, yeah, that product. Efendim? O zaman, uh, if it wasn't unit, then this wouldn't be one. But if it is constant, if the length is constant, we would have the same result. But suppose this is S, okay? then this wouldn't be zero. I mean, the derivative wouldn't be zero, okay? This would be S squared. Therefore, this would be two S. So you don't have this, okay? So that's the advantage of being unit speed, okay? For a curve. This is one, this is one, and therefore this is zero. This means what? This means the following. At the point S, uh, sorry, uh, for S, I am at this point, beta S, we have this tangent vector, Ts. I obtained another vector, it is perpendicular to this one, okay? So it is something like this. Let's see, T prime S, and this is the point B, beta S. And I know that this angle is 90 degrees. It is another vector in the three space, perpendicular to the tangent vector, okay? Yeah. Well, we will come to that. Yeah, it's uh, basically, uh, it will be the acceleration vector. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's the acceleration vector. Okay. Right. It is the second derivative of the uh, distance function. First derivative is velocity, second derivative is acceleration. So, uh, okay. The real valued function
which function uh, kappa s. What is this? This is just the norm of the derivative vector. T s is unit vector, but T prime s doesn't have to be unit uh, speed, right? I mean, uh, this doesn't have to be a unit vector. It might be bigger than or smaller than one. The length of that uh, derivative vector, derivative of the velocity vector, kind of the acceleration vector, norm of the acceleration vector. Of course, that is the numerical uh, value of the acceleration, right? What is the acceleration? This is the amount of force when you, uh, you know, feel uh, uh, that you are turning, right? And when you are moving in a vehicle, car, if it turns, right, you feel a force. This is the amount of force you feel, okay? T prime S is the, uh, the force vector applied to you. Its length is the amount of force. Değil mi? Yani hissettiğiniz kuvvet, ivme. Uh, not that, not that. This is by its, of course, uh, definition. It measures, measures the rate at which the tangent vector bends. Why is that? Because it is the derivative of this vector. And what is changing about this vector? Its length is not changing. The only thing it ch uh, 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 that changed is its direction. Therefore, this expression measures exactly, you know, how this tangent vector varies in space. Uh, the direction of the tangent vector changes, not uh, the uh, not its uh, length, right? That's why uh, this Ks measures how the tangent vector bends in the space. Okay, if it wasn't unit speed, then the second derivative would wouldn't be necessarily zero, even if it was going on a straight line, because you know, moving on a straight line, you may have non-zero acceleration. But if it is unit speed, and if the second derivative is not zero, it means your direction is changing. Okay. Yani hızınız hep sabit olduğuna göre bir kuvvet hissediyorsanız, o hız vektörünüzün yönünün değiştiği içindir. Uh, büyüklüğünün değiştiği için değil. Tamam mı? That's why we have this expression. Right? This measures exactly the rate <coughs> at which the tangent vector bends. It doesn't measure <coughs> the uh, change <coughs> the rate at which the <coughs> it doesn't measure uh, Actually, the rate at which the length of the tangent vector changes is zero, right? Uh, because it is constant speed. The uh, length of the vector doesn't uh, change. What it changes is only its direction, okay? That's why actually we study, uh, we work with uh, unit speed curves, okay? Otherwise, we wouldn't be sure, you know, what this quantity means. Does it tell us how? Uh, yeah. Does it tell us how the speed is changing or the direction is changing? Okay, they would be uh, mixed at that. Uh, you know, uh, so the two concepts would be mixed uh, then. But now we know that it is unit speed. Therefore, this measures only uh, the rate 
at which the tangent vector changes its direction. Okay. Şöyle yazayım. Yes is uh, a unit vector. Okay. The vector field We define a new object, which is just the uh, constant, I mean, sorry, unit uh, length vector in the direction of T prime S. This vector field uh, is a unit uh, vector field. Why is that? Because I divide this vector by its length, therefore it's a unit vector unit vectors uh, called the uh, principal normal vector field. Okay. So, I have beta, beta S, and here we have uh, TS, the tangent vector, and uh, NS is just T prime S divided by its length, so it's a unit vector. Maybe we can just see it over here, right? This is just uh, T prime S divided by this real number. This is a real number. So it goes out and it is positive. And then I have T prime S, but KS is just this expression. Therefore, this is one, right? So the, both of them are now unit vectors and they are perpendicular to each other. Uh, finally, beta, which is just T cross N on B, not beta, sorry, this is B on beta is called the binormal vector field of beta. Okay. What is this? This is just the cross product of these two vectors. <clears throat> uh, by the properties of the cross product, we know that cross product of a of uh, two vectors is a third vector which is perpendicular to both of them therefore whatever this b is okay uh çizmesi biraz sıkıntı olacak şöyle çizeyim t and then n değil mi şöyle yapayım okay b s so this is perpendicular to both of them, okay? And then we have also Okay. So at any point uh 
beta s, these three vectors, okay? Let's say this is uh, T s, this is uh, an s, let's say, B s is just the cross product of these two, okay? Okay. Let beta be a unit speed vector, uh, unit speed uh, curve in R3. With kappa being positive at all points. So, uh, kappa was the uh, acceleration, right? Okay. Then the vector fields fields T and and B on beta uh, are unit vectors vector fields sorry that are mutually orthogonal at each point. Uh, we call T and B a frame, a frame. Well, not a frame, a frame, different a frame. Frame, a frame. Uh, on beta. At each point of the curve, I have these three vectors, which are all unit vectors and they are perpendicular to each other. The tangent vector, the normal vector, which is obtained by taking basically the derivative of the tangent vector, and the binormal vector, which is just the cross product of the tangent vector with the normal vector, okay? And these three vectors uh, form so-called a frame, uh, which is nothing but a basis, orthonormal basis for the tangent space at this point, right? Because at this point I have three uh, orthogonal vectors, so they form a basis for the tangent space and we call it a frame and this, special frame has a name called the frame frame of the curve beta okay all right shindi diyelim. Summary. Uh, now we have T prime, which is just uh, Wait a minute. No, T is beta prime. N is T prime uh, over 
kappa, uh, the vector B is just T cross N. And uh, T dot T is equal to one. N dot N is equal to uh, one because this is also a unit vector, right? I just actually computed that. And prime here, and prime, and prime has length one. Therefore, n dot n is one, and beta dot beta is one. Why is that? Because you know it is just the length of uh, this. cross product squared. And what is this? This is just uh, length of the cross product. We know that is just the length of the first vector times the length of the second vector times the angle between them. But in this case, T and N are normal vectors with uh, angle 90 degrees between them. Therefore, and since I have square, I have square, square, and square. Well, this is one, this is one, and this is theta is just 90 degrees. Therefore, this is also one. Therefore, this is one. So beta is also a unit speed vector. Okay. Uh, but, you know, since uh, B is also unit speed vector. If I take derivative of B with itself, I would get one, but constant function has derivative zero. And we apply what we have done there. I have the dot product of a vector with itself and uh, it's derivative zero. Uh, this dot product is what? This is just B prime S times B S plus, right? The Leibniz rule B S times B prime S, and this is zero. So this is just two times B prime S times B S is zero. Well, this means B prime S and B S are orthogonal to each other, right? For all S. These are also for all S. Well, so B prime is orthogonal to this uh, vector means what? Well, B prime, sorry, yeah. B is what? B is a vector like this, right? B S, uh, it is both perpendicular to these two vectors. Well, it is in the plane perpendicular to B, right? So this means B prime S is in the plane, is uh, perpendicular to the plane uh, spanned by TS and and S. So it means B prime S is a, yes, sorry. Oh, oh yeah. B S is perpendicular to the plane and therefore So this vector is also perpendicular to this. Therefore, this is in the plane spanned by NS and TS, right? Uh, and therefore, uh, B prime S, B prime S is in the plane spanned by uh, T S and 
and S. Değil mi? Okay. Well, they uh, all have uh, their vectors at uh, the same tangent space, right? They are all vectors at the tangent space beta s. Since they are all in the same uh, uh, space, uh, right? They point from all uh, the point beta s. Okay. Okay. <coughs> All right. Now, uh, okay. Now we already know that, but so this brings <coughs> the following uh, question, of course. This is in the plane spanned by these two. Therefore, beta S is a linear combination of uh, T S and let's say uh, N S, right? So what are these coefficients, right? What are these coefficients? And actually the same holds for all of them, right? Uh, I have, you know, T uh, and, <clears throat> and B, they all uh, unit uh, vector fields. So their derivatives are always uh, zero. Uh, sorry, uh, the same thing for uh, same thing happens for T and B also, right? Uh, indeed. Name the, name the uh, T prime is perpendicular to T and thus Thus, T prime is in the uh, plane spanned by the remaining two, uh, right? T prime is perpendicular to T, therefore, it is in the plane spanned by B and N. B and N. And Similarly, uh, n prime is in the plane spanned by T and B, right? And actually, we know that. Uh, We know the following. Huh. Indeed, we already know that T 
e prime s is just kappa times n, right? Therefore, t prime is written as a linear combination of t, sorry, b and n. The coefficient of b is zero, right? The coefficient of n is just kappa. So I can write it this way, zero times t, kappa times n plus zero times b. Of course, it is zero times t because I already know that t and t prime are perpendicular to each other, but this uh, tells us that t prime has no component in the b direction, okay? It's a parallel vector to n. Okay, now what about, B prime S, right? I know that this is a linear combination of T and N, but you know, what is the linear combination? This C1 and C2, okay. All right. Uh, all right, since we know that since B prime, S and BS is zero. Uh, we already know that uh, B prime S is perpendicular to BS. And also, moreover, B prime is just, sorry, B is just T cross N so that be that t is zero because this vector is perpendicular to both t and n, therefore b is perpendicular to t. And uh, of course, b is also perpendicular to n. Okay, surely uh, Jim and thus, since this is zero, I can do the following computation. B dot T, this is zero, derivative of zero is still zero, right? Constant function. But what is this? This is just, I apply Leibniz rule, derivative of B times T S plus P prime, B prime times uh, T prime S, Okay, so from this we see what? B prime T dot S is just minus, yok şunu yanlış yaptım, burası B olacak, right? Derivative of the first one times the second plus the first guy plus uh, times the derivative of the second. So this is B S dot product T prime S. All right, uh, and we know what? Okay, now T prime is just in the direction of N, right? T prime and N are parallel to each other. So this vector is parallel to, uh, so this is just kappa times N and B times N dot product is zero because B and N are perpendicular to each other. So this is zero. Well, this means what? B prime is also perpendicular to uh, T. Therefore, B prime S is perpendicular to T S. Okay, right? I knew that B prime is in the is in the plane spanned by uh, T and N, but it is perpendicular to T. Therefore, it is in the plane, but it is perpendicular to T. Therefore, it is in the direction of the normal vector, right? So we can just write the following. Huh? 
Hence, değil mi? Uh, şöyle yazayım. Yani now we have this plane. This plane is spanned by two vectors, t and n, which are both perpendicular, uh, which are perpendicular to each other. And b prime is a vector in this plane. B prime is another vector in this plane, and it is perpendicular to t, right? So if b prime is perpendicular to t, then this actually should be in this direction. So, so it should be parallel to uh, b prime. Hence, uh, b prime is parallel to uh, what? N. So b prime, b prime, is equal to b prime s is just some constant. Well, uh, we will call that constant minus tau s times n s for some constant uh, tau s. Evet. Uh, of course, yeah, you are right. This is what, uh, indeed, uh, tau s is just what? It is just minus the length of this derivative vector. Anyway. Beta prime'ın neye paralel oldu olduğunu biliyorum. Önündeki katsayıyı bulmamız lazım. O katsayı da nedir? Tabii ki paralel olduğuna göre, e, bu da birim vektör olduğuna göre beta prime'ın e, lengthi. Sorry, uh, this is b. Yeah, there is no beta prime actually here, right? We have t n and b. Okay, now we have uh, already two formulas. So uh, from this we get what? B prime S is just zero times T S uh, minus tau S times an S plus zero times B S. I have this formula. And we have also this formula. T prime is a linear combination of the three vectors, right? This is a basis. T and B is a basis. So any vector is written as a combination, linear combination of these three vectors. And uh, we wrote T prime and B prime is a linear combination of these two vectors. Now, what about the third one? Okay. What about N prime S? Okay. So that's the content of the following theorem. Here is the theorem. This is called uh, Ferena formulas. I have time, right? Okay, I can at least state the theorem, uh, do the proof in the next hour. If. Pardon, hocam. Uh, Arkada kaldı. Okay. I'm sorry. So to compute M prime, uh, we need this theorem. Uh, so if 
beta is a unit speed curve. Curve with curvature. Kappa positive and uh, torsion tau. So I already tell you what the names of these expressions. Uh, kappa is called the curvature, okay? Uh, tau is called the torsion, okay? Torsion. Then uh, T prime is Kn. We already know this. Uh, N prime, this is the new information, minus kappa times T plus tau times B. And B prime is just minus tau times n. We already know this one and this one, right? So all we have to do uh, is to prove this one. So, okay. Uh, let me stop here. Uh, I'll do the proof in the second hour. Hocam tahtaya biraz fazla zoomlu gibiyiz şu anda. Evet. Zoomu biraz artmış. Teşekkürler. Rica ederim. Okay, let me stop the recording.